But if you do stuff like that, the women all of a sudden, they, it melts the ice a little bit, right? And so do that, have fun, and the women will be more attractive. Just relax. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Any tips for men dating Mexican women for the first time? Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, be patient and be understanding because it's a different culture still, even though I wouldn't say like it's as different as Asian culture, for example. I believe there is more difference between uh, the States and Asian countries uh, versus Mexico. And I don't know, like as simple as that, like Mexican women are always late. So, well, how, late? <laughs> how late? Women are late in general for the most part. Like, well, we had cases of uh, like an hour late. Uh, well, okay. That's less. If it's the, like 15 minutes more. So Why is it transportation that, or? Yeah, Mexico City is probably big city just getting around. And... No, it's not. It's not about Mexico City. It's just about they, <laughs> they they just view it differently. Like it's normal, and it's not it's only in dating it's in general so mm -hmm. if you have so like, not in like, hurry, meeting like. someone uh -huh. it's, it's very normal yeah <laughs> Guys, keep in mind too, you know, when you're at that table, yes, there's four or five women there. Um, you're polite to everybody because the woman that you're interested in is really watching how you're interacting with the other women as well. And if you're just focused on that woman and you're just kind of like dismissing everybody totally, she's not gonna like that because you're right, she's not, that's not gonna make her feel comfortable. So you're nice to everybody, right? But you're focused on the one that you're interested in. You should be. You should be a little bit selfish because that's good for you, good for her, good for everybody. Because if you're, I've had guys that will talk to women saying, well, I don't think anybody's talking to her, so I'm gonna spend my time talking to her, even though I'm not interested in her. And that's just a waste of time for everybody, including her, because somebody else probably is interested in your monopolizing her time for no reason other than you think you're saving her or helping her and you're not. So you have to be a little bit selfish. And I think it's great that if you feel awkward about asking her for a date right at that table, you can get up a little bit and move especially after things, yeah. um, you know, loosen up and then ask her privately with your matchmaker, hey, would you like to go out? But be careful because some of these women may leave early, right? The only time we've ever had a captive audience is when we did it on a ship and they'd have to jump overboard to get out. So this time they don't have to do that. They could actually walk out the door because maybe they got to get home early or something. So if you do like someone, all is right. It's best just to ask right away. mental uh, state is so important at those socials. I can't stress that enough. You guys have been to a social some of you before, and it's like going on a bunch of mini days at once, and you may go to a table, and you may not have such a great experience at that table, but you have to wipe that from your mind to the next table, because if you carry that with you, then you kind of infect that next opportunity, and you don't want to do that. And it's hard, it's, it's really not an easy thing. I swear we're gonna get shirts that say I survived my first AFA social because it's not an easy thing to do and I really don't envy you guys because I was lucky enough to meet my wife, but I went through the process too. I met her at an AFA social, right? And I had to go through the same things that you guys are going through, but it's, it's not the easiest thing for men to do because we're not used to being the hunted, so to speak. We're usually the hunters. But when you have all these women in the room, all of a sudden the tables change a little bit and we're not used to that dynamic. We've never, most of us have never experienced it unless you've been on an AFA tour. So, I mean, these wonderful women experience it all the time because they're all beautiful. And when they go in a room, you know, all the men are going this way and those numbers are always in their favor. Well, tonight, you know, the numbers are gonna be more in your favor. And that is a little discerning, disconcerting for some of the men. So try to just knock that out of your mind. Just have fun. You know, the women are drawn to guys who can smile, have some kind of self-deprecating uh, humor, that kind of thing, right? If you could do those kind of things, um, you'll be fine, right? Because they love that. But if you're really uptight, nervous, and how are you? What do you do? And you make just like an interview with a spotlight on, that's no fun for anybody, right? So you gotta have jokes, you gotta just fun. And sometimes with the intercultural joking, it's a little bit difficult because it doesn't go over the right way. And sometimes that can be funny. Um, practice your Spanish on some of the women. I remember in Russia when I would sit down at the table, years and years ago I'd say, Cocktail, how are you? And they're like, 
cocktail hour. That's a real form, informal greeting, right? That you normally wouldn't do. So, but if you do stuff like that, the women all of a sudden, they, it melts the ice a little bit, right? And so do that, have fun, and the women will be more attractive, right? Just relax. You have nothing to lose tonight, right? Nothing. And everything to gain. So just be yourselves, have fun, and you'll be fine. Are you frustrated with your current dating options? Expand your horizons. Interested? Learn more at Mexico-Women.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.